What up y'all, Alex Chris Martin here and today I wanted to come at you guys with a little bit of a different style video and I wanted to kind of go through some workout splits, um, some that I've personally done, some that I've honestly just read about, I know some friends that have, um, have done them and really I just want to kind of go through, give you guys some ideas, maybe you're looking to mix up your split for the summer training or who knows, maybe, maybe you just want something new, want something to try out, so let's get right into it. Starting off with number one is going to be the full body split. Now this is a really basic split that actually I don't even think really beginners do. I think people who are very limited on their time will do. It's going to be about three days a week, generally Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you have to nail every part of your body or at least a majority of your body on those days. Um, I would assume those training sessions are pretty long. That's one of the ones that I've never done myself, but um, that's honestly, if you ask me, that's a pretty good way to get into it as a beginner or just as someone who doesn't have a lot of time to train and is very limited to the uh, amount of hours I can spend in the gym a week, whether that's maybe only four or five hours, um, or maybe even three, maybe you can only do one hour a day. Next, we're gonna move on to the upper-lower split, and that's gonna be upper, lower, rest, upper, lower. And so um, I know a lot of the ways that people will mix that up is they'll um, focus, um, they'll do hypertrophy for one upper day, and then they'll do strength for the other upper day. Then they'll do hypertrophy for one leg day, and then they'll do um, strength for the other leg day. Uh, I think that's a very interesting split, especially if you're uh, someone who's just kind of looking to get stronger and more aesthetic. Um, I personally have never ran it because I've always been leg dominant, and um, I have had uh, splits where I've done two leg days a week, but I've always needed so much more upper body focus that having an entire upper day um, at once didn't really work for me. But it's definitely not a bad split, and um, definitely something interesting if you kind of like to split your days up into hypertrophy and strength. For me personally, I like to have a little mix of both in every training session. Alright, next we're going to have your push-pull legs. Super, super popular. Chances are if you watch someone on YouTube uh, that's into fitness and lifts and their goal is hypertrophy and building musculature size, they're probably on a push-pull leg split. Now what that means, you do all your push, mu your push muscles, so you're pressing your bench, your shoulders, your overhead pressing, your tricep pushdowns. Um, you hit that group of muscles on, say, Monday. Come Tuesday, you're going to do your pull muscles, so your back, maybe your deadlifts, unless you'd like to do those on leg day but you do your rows, your curls, your pull-downs, your pull-ups, whatever you choose to do for your back. And then you have legs and sometimes shoulders, depending on how you like to work the split, unless you can work shoulders into your push day. But uh, then you have obviously all your leg movements, your squats, your RDLs, your front squats, and your um, shoulders. Or um, I, when I personally ran that, I also hit abs pretty hard on that day. Pretty good split, ran it for a really long time, but um, Honestly, I'm gonna say this for this split and everything else, if you stay on it for too long, you're gonna get just way too bored of it, and it's gonna become something that's too normal and too routine, and then you just honestly don't enjoy training. And so that goes for every split, obviously, but this is definitely a fantastic split that I'd recommend to almost anyone, especially people who can get in the gym six days a week so they can do push, pull, legs, rest, repeat, um, in one week, or push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, rest. So. Um, Great, awesome split. Um, if your uh, focus is hypertrophy, or maybe doing like a bodybuilding show or something like that, this is a great split to be doing. And then, a, just a little secondary twist on that is um, something I tried for a little bit that I had a lot of fun with was um, doing your push-pull legs, but on your push days, instead of hitting triceps, you would hit biceps. Theory being, your biceps are fresh because they haven't been taxed by your pressing movements, so that way um, all your curls and stuff are stronger and you can put a lot more emphasis on your biceps. and. Um, building your arms up. And then obviously on the pull days you do triceps because those triceps haven't been used and so you can put a lot more focus into building those arms up going heavy on your arms. Alright next we're going to talk about everyone's favorite and most likely everyone's beginning, the bro split. And um, I'm not a super fan of the bro split, uh, especially with the bro, essentially with the bro split, essentially what the bro split is, is it's going to be chest, back, shoulders, legs, arms, five days a week, rest two days and repeat. Um, I don't, I personally believe in training and not only do I believe, but studies do show that training a muscle group twice a week is going to be a lot more beneficial just due to um, protein synthesis and uh, recovery time and just the amount of volume you can pack in. Uh, the way I've always um, heard about it, I've heard um, different bodybuilders say is that, think about it like this, you can either get one chest session a week, so 52 chest sessions a year, or if you do, for example, the push-pull legs and you're hitting chest twice a week, you get 104 chest sessions a year. So it's just a different way to think about it, but um, I, I don't think the bro split is fantastic. The one thing it is good for is getting a phenomenal pump in that uh, designated body part. I have had modified splits where, um, for example, I have a, a little bit of lacking shoulders. So I've had modified splits where I have one day dedicated to shoulders and I'm able to get that pump in, but I'm still hitting them a different time of the week. So it's not necessarily the one time a week frequency, but really for this split, um, 
it's, its biggest shortcoming is that the frequency is one time a week per body part. And that, to me, that's not optimal growth. That's not optimal strength. That's, um, that's really just dumbing down your training to the absolute lowest or, and um, it's just not, I would not recommend it. Okay, lastly, we're gonna go on to my personal favorite uh, split. And, uh, and my favorite right now, that I'm doing right now, that I'm having a ton of fun with, is gonna be chest back, shoulders, arms, legs, abs. And so um, what that is gonna be is, um, I've personally been supersetting it, but you can do it any way you want. Obviously, you're gonna hit your chest and your back, your shoulders and your arms, and then your legs and your abs. So what I've been doing with that second leg day a week is I've been really focusing on shoulders and abs um, again. And so that has really been helping me out building my shoulders. And honestly, it's just really fun. Nothing to me really beats a back and chest pump. I've been supersetting these movements. And um, what that's really done is that's really up my, um, I don't wanna use the word intensity, but um, it's, uh, it's bumped up how hard I'm working in the gym and um, it's kept me sweating and I've, I've been able to increase my calories because of that. And what I like to do is for example, and this is just a personal thing, is I'll do my strength movement. So for example, today I did chest and back. So um, I'll start with heavy benching and then I'll go into heavy rowing, and then I'll start doing my supersets in higher reps and um, like the eight to 12 rep range. And so that's really so I can get that strength and I can, then I can move on into that hypertrophy sort of power building fashion. Anyways guys, I hope you like that. Maybe you can find a split that you think you'll like or something that you can incorporate into your own training. I'm Alex, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the gym.